Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I have another Halo Reach figure for you. And this is another Series 1 figure, and this is Noble 6. Very cool. So now I officially have half of the Noble team. We've got Emil, George, and Noble 6, and they have yet to release the other three. Um, those are supposed to be in either Series 2 or Series 3, which hopefully they release soon. Uh, made by McFarlane in 2010. So let's take a quick break and we'll get him out of the package. Alright, and we are back with the Noble Six. Um, it comes with a couple accessories. It's got a really cool looking assault rifle. Which McFarlane does an amazing job on the detail on their guns. I really like that. They don't give you just a slab of gray plastic that looks like a gun. They actually put paint and you can see all the, the wear and tear on there. Looks really cool. Very nice looking. Of course it's got that peg so we can peg it into his back. Very cool. And uh, these pegs are usually removable. I don't know if all of them are. Yeah, it looks like it. you can see the hole right there. And the peg just kind of sticks in. It's not coming out very easy, but I'm sure if I worked at it for a little bit, that peg would pop out. So you don't have to have that peg sticking out of the gun if you don't want to. <clears throat> And he comes with a frag grenade. Very cool. The frag grenade does not have the peg in it. Uh, most of these uh, Halo Reach figures, they don't have the peg in the grenades because on the back of the Spartans, they have the pegs right there, so you can just plug the grenade on there. So it doesn't really need the peg. But uh, very cool. First off, the removable armor plate on the chest, like most of the figures. Very cool. And he has a, a hole right there. And I think actually some of the waist armor pieces will come off and you can plug one on there. Um, like George, for instance, or not George, but Emil had like a row of like grenades like on this thing. And I think those will pop off. I'm not too sure on that, but that's my theory on that one. But uh, it's got a couple holes there on his legs for grenades. And there's holes on his arms, I think, for armor plating that can pop off. The shoulder plates will pop off as well, I think. Never actually tried that one, but uh, that's pretty cool. You just look at the detail all over him, looks really cool. He's definitely been in battle a few times. His armor's pretty scuffed up. They did a great job at just making it look worn with all the silver scratching and stuff. Very cool. If you can see the bottom of his feet, he does have the same problem as Emil, but for some reason this guy stands up pretty well, while Emil didn't. My figure anyway. But uh very cool figure, really glad to have him. Looking forward to assembling the whole team. Articulation, he has a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulder, uh, ball jointed elbow, and ball jointed wrists. So, he has a uh, torso joint just like the others do, it's just not very functional, doesn't move around very well. Um, got the same hip joint as the other figures, got this kind of protruding ball that goes back and forth in and out. And then the uh, the thigh kind of swivels around on it. Um, ball jointed knee, ball jointed feet, and the toe joints, of course. So, you know, very articulated, although some of the joints are really tight and don't work very well. Um, overall, I think they're pretty cool. The detail is really where it's at. It's McFarland, so going into getting it, the fact that it even has articulation is amazing. <laughs> but, uh... You know, definitely a cool series to pick up if you're into Halo. A lot of cool figures, a lot of different accessories to get. So anyways, that was Noble 6. Thanks for checking them out.